throughout ERB research there has been one constant. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats but fast. CRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this model and being proficient in this skill. Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Begin. <laughs> This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Lesson 1. CERT CERT stands for Calmly Collect Evidence, Eliminate Threats, Run Away, and Terminate Self. Given an interaction with an entity these are the order of actions an agent will take during escalation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminates the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let us look at an example, where an agent didn't follow the principles of CERT. In 1989, Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 as ref. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do?
Lesson 2. Do's and Don'ts. Improvements we need in the RD. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. Do help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. Do terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate, explain later. Lesson 3 Follow Mission Protocol Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Begin. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. 
Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features, for example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a different module. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Begin. Training module is to practice with reaction skills on determining if something is a friend or a foe. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Begin. <laughs> Yeah. 
Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. Type into the console what you hear, and press enter when complete. begin. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Do not look behind you. Do not look behind you. You are weak and replaceable. Clap cloudy with a chance of rain. Clap 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 cloudy with a chance of rain. Everything is fine. Fi 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 yeah. I don't see 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 the sun often. I don't see 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 the sun often. Don't leave me here.
Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. The RD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities, and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no physical evidence has been found yet. That's S, where you come in. As an agent of the RD you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities the RD are focusing on in 1992. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Extreme. Utility, significant. Shadow people, or night terrors, torment their prey during night when there is low visibility, often in bedrooms, when the prey is sleeping. Paralyzing their prey during sleep, shadow people will ominously watch from a distance. 
it is a known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. Entity, E718. Nickname, Matronic. Class, Machine. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Matronics take the form of animatronics, playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where Matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronics are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Entity, E-59. Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers are ancient Shappa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. Entity, E-59. Nickname, The Rake. Class, Null. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Low. After the elimination of the Windigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the Rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Windigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? A brief quiz will now begin. Begin. Thank <laughs> you. 
The final exam will now begin, a mixture of content from previous modules. Begin. Did you check the latch? Yeah. 